it is important to conduct a simple pre-treatment examination on all patients. Obtain medical history and informed consent. Contraindications for this treatment are pregnancy and skin cancer. Before beginning the treatment, carefully clean the skin and mark the target area. It is advisable to take pre-treatment photographs for future reference. Administer local or topical anesthetic depending on the wart type, size, and location. In this video, the wart was deep enough to justify lidocaine injection as it required epidermal scraping. Using a tool of choice, remove excess skin covering the wart. Next, turn on the device and ensure the settings match the handpiece you have selected, red or blue. Red is more suitable when performing a milder treatment involving coagulation or drying out of the wart. Blue is more appropriate when a more concentrated energy is needed for carbonizing the root of the wart, as seen in this video. Next, arm the laser by putting it into ready mode. The laser is armed, but not on, when the light is solid. The aiming beam will also appear when the device is in ready mode. Next, open the safety cover on the foot pedal. Make sure the handpiece metal spacer is touching the patient's skin and the green aiming beam is pointing to the target area. Depress the foot pedal to turn the laser on. Make sure the handpiece and indicator are pointed at the treatment area. Hold the handpiece so that it is just touching the skin, moving slowly over the treatment area. Use extra caution during the patient's first treatment. Pause regularly in order to control progress and patient comfort. You can use a scraping tool to clean away any loose tissue. Continue until the treatment area appears carbonized. If necessary, apply cooling such as a frozen gel pack in between lasering. Post-treatment, use non-stick dressing. Cleanse the treated area with diluted hydrogen peroxide twice daily for five days and then once daily until healing is complete. After each cleaning, when needed, apply a thin coat of antibiotic ointment such as polysporin. The ointment will clear any possible bacterial contamination or infection and keep the wound moist for faster epithelialization. More than one treatment is often required. Typically, treatments should be spaced about three to four weeks apart. 